Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Vet07, and today we're going to be doing six Buddhas versus Hard Raid. So, I have the finest team of Buddhas here, as you guys can, as you guys can see, six people with Buddha. So, essentially, the strategy for them, since uh, all of them probably don't have Nightblade Bloodstone, uh, but the strategy for them is just to basically spam, get the buff M1. Pretty simple stuff. Um, now, the thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Force Meter all the way up. By using the first ability, and it sent me all the way up immediately. Okay, got teleported down. So M1, Celestial Beam, Spam Divine Imprint, M1, get out. Use my Night Blade for DPS. As you guys will see, my DPS should go up really, really quick. I'm going to go ahead and shift lock just so I, because I can't see my character. But as soon as my buff goes away bottom left, as you guys can see, I have 15 seconds. Um, I will get back into Buddha and use my form, essentially. So yeah, this will be uh, really broken. Also, I don't think I have the right accessory on. There we go. I didn't have the right accessory on, so uh, that, that's why my health was a little bit low. There we go. I'm going to start m again on Buddha. Also, this is going surprisingly well. Hey, yo. Wait, the first boss is dying really quick. This actually might be meta. Uh, the, the strategy that I'm currently using with the sword uh, is probably one of the highest DPS things in the game. Uh, just spamming Nightblade M1s because the last M1 on Nightblade does um, a stupid amount. We're going to do the, basically the same thing. Now let's see how fast we can delete this boss. Also, we forgot to skip, which is quite unfortunate. So do this. Also, with a Divine Imprint, you can M1 in between. Celestial Beam, Divine Imprint, M1, get out. Okay, so I'm going to use this move. Sp Bam, M1. So I, I believe that using your first ability does give you more DPS. I'm just going to use my second. I'm getting hit right now. Okay, he is doing a lot of damage. I didn't proc my Buddha. What the heck? I literally saw the meter go all the way up. What is this crap? Can I still get force off of him? No, I actually can't. So I'm going to go ahead and heal just because I swear I swear my, for my force bar was all the way up. This game is selling me right now. Trying to make me lose. Okay, so I'm going to keep this out really quick. Um... Now, I'm going to go ahead and try to get the buff really quick because you basically are unkillable, uh, to be honest with Buddha. It's really broken, um, with especially with Nightblade. Now, this might get nerfed. The M1s on Nightblade might get nerfed. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, hopefully, they don't. Or maybe the Buddha Pass will even get nerfed. So, yeah, we definitely procced it now. We're going to go ahead and pop our heal. And we're going to switch to Nightblade. So, Nightblade also has Bloodthirsty Stone on it, so I can get some healing from that. So, we're going to go ahead and go in here. We're going to have to activate our shift lock. This is Vet from the future. Um, so, Buddha has a uh, bug right now in Raid where the bosses, for whatever reason, like to take away the passive. Now, there's no way this is intended because it kind of ruins the entire, like, fruit in the force bar. So, essentially, I don't get my damage reduction. You get, like, 90% damage reduction from the passive, and they just take it away. So, my entire Yoru strategy with the Blood Moon was just thrown out the window. All right, let's get back into the video. All right, so yeah, we definitely are going pretty crazy. Um, I just got to keep an eye on my HP and we should be good. Because I do need to heal a little bit. This is my first time really using this build, so... It's not the... I'm not like too crazy yet. Also, we can just walk out of all of his moves. Also, I am one shot. I do have the uh, buff right now, so I should be good. But yeah, this is kind of interesting. I am dying kind of fast. Somebody just healed me, which is quite nice. So, even with Blood Moon on my Nightblade, it seems to be... I seem to be dying quite fast. I think I'm just bad. Switch back to Nightblade. Also, transforming does do damage, so you want to probably transform on top of the boss. So, use the beam, because it gives the most force. Use the second move, M1. We should be able to get force pretty dang fast. I'm going to shift lock really quick. So, now we have the buff. I'm going to go ahead and detransform, spam all of our moves on Nightblade. I am also spamming M1s. Now, I can't see exactly uh, where I am, but I should be right on top of the boss. Yeah, so I actually I actually can't. Like, he takes off my... Look, I have the balls going around me, but it's actually taking the buff off, which is interesting. So I guess it's not as good as I thought it was. I, I keep having to actually heal. I'm going to try to heal that guy right there. Uh, we're going to get back into Buddha, so we have some more HP, so just in case uh, we die. Also, I'm gonna, I need to get that buff back. Also, Heavenly Shot and Scared Temple, or uh, Sacred Temple, aren't really that good. So, yeah, I am about to die. I do have Buddha buff, but it seems to go through it. This build does go quite crazy on, 
like Hydras and those uh, bigger bosses. So I'm wondering what's wrong with the smaller ones. Also, is my Kamiha missing? Do I need my shift lock on? That's probably my issue here. Okay, I'm about to die. Definitely don't want to die. There we go. So I got the buff. So heal. Right? I don't take any damage from this, right? Yeah, okay. I'm not taking any damage. Perfect. So everything seems to be working. And then it just goes away 15 seconds early. He must have a uh, an ability to take off the buff. That's the only explanation. So actually, it doesn't work against this boss, but the other bosses seem to work just fine. So I gotta play a little bit more careful. Also, there's so many Buddhas. This is crazy. It's also really quick, surprisingly. I was dissing Buddha when I first saw it, but I didn't really understand the true grasp of the uh, passive. But if this guy takes away your passive, it is kind of annoying, but the fruit is still good because the M1s are quite strong. So I'm going to get out of transformation, try to heal some people really quick. All right, everybody should be healed. So now hopefully this boss doesn't have a debuff where it takes away uh, the passive on Buddha, which would be really, really annoying. So Celestial Beam, it hit. Perfect. Go in with this move. M1. He does hurt me, though. m one is probably not a good idea. Okay, so don't M1 on Buddha and Raid. They do way too much damage. So we're just going to have to proc it normally. There we go. And now we're going to go in with this ability. No way. I am actually might die. Yeah, it doesn't work in this. Uh, okay, so new strategy after figuring out it does not work. Um, but for some, for whatever reason, right, he just takes away your Buddha buff, which really, like, affects how good this is. Now, I'm not sure if it's bugging out. Every time I detransform, but it, it stays for just a tiny bit. Let's see, what happens if I use Celestial Temper in here? Okay, not a, maybe not the best idea. I'm out, sorry boys. No, somebody died. Do I really blame him though? Shouldn't do any damage. I'm going to detransform, heal this guy right here. Get back in transformation, keep spamming. Okay, so M1s, yeah, don't, uh, don't M1, bro. M1s are uh, risky. Even with the DR, like, he, he seems to go through the DR sometimes. He just takes it, like, takes it away or something's, something's glitched. Something's not right here, which is really interesting. Oh, he's melting me. Do you see how fast my health went down right there? Bigger hitbox. So, yeah, so Buddha actually is not good for raids, unfortunately. But we still got most people... Uh, looks like we got five. If not everybody, maybe he paid Robux to come back. Okay, he is down. I'm going to go ahead and try to M1 here. Celestial Beam. Also, my Celestial Beam keeps going upwards because yeah, the other people's hitboxes are messing it up a little bit. Spam Sacred Temple. Sacred Temple should get a rework. It's not really like an uh, ultimate. It's kind of like, it's really bad too. It doesn't give a lot of force. Damage is mediocre. Okay, I need to get out of form here. A lot of stuff on the floor. Okay, let's go back into our form here. Spam everything. Yeah, look, my force meter's completely down. It didn't give me the buff. Where's my buff? No, Buddha gets nerfed in raid. I'm not sure if they knew it was too OP or something. Damn. Oh, I'm about to die again. Ooh, yeah, somebody is dead. Look, at the ring is still there. One person dead. Dude, this is such a hard raid. This is the hardest raid I've done. Buddha's hard. This is harder than Dragon. Dragon's big hitbox is pretty annoying, but the... Like, don't even try to go for M1s with this. I have Crab Armor 2 with one upgrade, or two upgrades. And I'm still struggling, so I wouldn't recommend Buddha and hard. Or maybe even normal, too. This is kind of... It's kind of close. I've been, like, under 10k, like, multiple times. Oh, my health is low again. Oops. I'm going to try to teleport on this guy. Use it. Dang it. He's jashed the other way as soon as I tried to heal him. Okay, so I'm going to set a transformation here for just for a second. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go back in. He's almost dead. I have three lives. I could sacrifice some lives for some DPS. Come on, guys. Go crazy. Okay, let's skip. Skip, 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 skip. 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 All right, now we're on Kirkle. Uh, pretty fast time. 10 minutes. Not bad. Okay, nice. Go ahead and aim for Kirkle. Always remember that. Kirkle first. Oh, 
Also, this does have a good AoE, so maybe we can hit the grab and uh, Kirkle at the same time, which is pretty nice. Kamehameha! Gotta love Kamehameha and Buddha. Uh-oh, I can't even move. What the heck was that? Uh-oh. Might actually die here. I'm gonna get out heal. No. Don't kill me. Come on, let me proc the buff. Alright, so we have buff. Look, look bottom left. Look bottom left, right? Have buff. It's not, it's not going away. Okay. Maybe it just bugs out sometimes. W. It hit. Where's Kirkle? There he is. I'm locked. I'm locked in. I'm locked and loaded. Holy crap, dude. This raid is tough. This raid is tough. Oh, he's about to kill me. He's about to kill me. He's right, right on me. Get away. Get away. Yo, what the heck was that? Bro, he's chasing me down. What the heck was that? Did you guys see that? Why is he so fast? Oh, it's maybe because he's not getting hit. All right, first death. Not a problem. I'm going to go transform right on his face because I'm a titan. Dude, why does my buff go away? Like, look, it, my force bar is literally ticking down, so that means I have the buff. But it's not bottom left, which means that they take it off. That's so annoying. Ooh, 10 gems, okay. I didn't even know he dropped gems. Oh, it's a chance, that's right. All right, last boss now. Uh, Crab, we already have him half HP because we're hitting him at the same time as Kirkle. Oh, so I hope somebody gets crab armor. The last two videos I've done, people got crab armor, which is crazy. It's a 4% in here, which actually is a lot higher than I thought it would be. Not bad. I think they raised it, to be honest. And then the boss outside in uh, Third Sea, I think it's a 1%. Right, I'm going to go for some M1s here. I do have an extra life I could sacrifice. Actually, I can't. Why am I not hitting him? There we go. Hopefully, my beam hits. Yes, sir. Oh my god, we're beating up Crab. Like, all teleported us back. <laughs> Our uh, buff is staying. Oh, it's gone. Yo, Crab is getting deleted. Yo, this is a good time. I'm not lagging. Right, so the time bottom left is not too far off, but I will put an official time. But yeah, this is good, honestly. If Imagine if the buff was stayed too, and we're missing somebody. Somebody's been dead. Yo, Buddha's good. What the heck? All right, so he's almost dead. Also, Crab doesn't really seem to be taking my buff away as often as the other bosses were. So yeah, this went by pretty dang quick. Um, yeah, I only died once, and I got really close to dying multiple times. W. Okay, so we did 15 minutes bottom left. I'll put the official time up right now. And somebody died too on the third boss. I think if Buddha was not bugged right now and the passive actually worked, that one person wouldn't have died. I wouldn't have been healing most of the game. And I would have been able to use my Bloodthirsty Nightblade, which has the best M1 in the game currently. That's so much damage. And uh, I think this could be the best raid fruit in the game. You're pretty much unkillable um, with certain builds. I'll probably be making a video on that uh, in the next week or so. But yeah, uh, please like and subscribe for more. If you guys have any recommendations on what you're bring in the raid, let me know. Uh, my idea was Quake versus Normal Raid because it did just get a pretty big buff with its waves. So let me know if you want to see that and I'll catch you guys in the next one.